Evening and all, Rich here, back for part 6 of this Queen Elizabeth tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's wheelhouse, forecastle deck details, and any other shit I can think of along the way. So we're going to start with the ship's wheelhouse first. So we're going to go right to the top of the front of the superstructure, which is all the way up here. We've already got the bridge wings in place, so that's fine. And what we need to do on the uh, front of the bridge wings, or the front of the bridge basically, so you've got bridge wing there, bridge wing there, and on this front wall here, we're going to add... On this front wall, we're going to add nine windows. So we want a centre window, which is two blocks high. And then we want uh, four either side. So it's one, two, three, and four. So it's four that way. And one, two, three, and four that way. So there we are. There's our nine windows. And we'll add our pillars in between. Like so. Oh, missed one. And pillars each end as well. So after the last window, add another pillar. Do the same on the other side. There we go. There's our windows all labelled out. Yeah. Right. So then what we want to do now is go behind the windows or behind the pillar on the side. I'm going to build the side wall 25 long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Like that. So it's 25 long. And then 2. 1, 2. And then... Uh, three in, one, two, three, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's right. I don't think it is, but there we go. Uh, let me just check my notes. So it's five. It's three in, five. Is that the centre? Don't know. I do the other side as well, just to make sure. So it's uh, twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. So it's twenty-five like that. And then two in three, one, two, three, and then in five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. And then the colour blocked about the centre if you want. Uh, and there we go, there's our walls here in well in place. So you need to increase them now to uh four high. So two, three, four, and four high all the way around. I use world edit to do this, otherwise we'll be here all day. Like so, and for our free hand in some places. And then lastly, across the other side. And here we go. There's the walls increased in height. And then you just do the same across the front of the windows as well. So, or along the top of the windows. Just add a wall of white. Like so. And here we go. There's our front of our wheelhouse done like that. And then for the roof, it's basically just wood blocks. So add the wood blocks all the way around like so or basically just go from the front to the back and fill it all in with wood so I shall do that now so we use fill wood by 300 and there we go there's the roof done and there we go that's the uh, the shape and dimensions of the wheelhouse done marvellous so what we need to do now yeah, you'd have a yawn and then think about what to do next so what we're going to do now is on the side of the uh, the 25 so like this, so it's the 25 there, just go from the front block, which is this one, and then count to the 19th block back, so that's the first block, and then count to the 19th one back, which is that one, so there's the 19th block there, and then we remove that white block there and build out two wood, like so, we're going to add some stairs now, so it's two out with the wood, and then build the stairs going down, facing towards the front like so, and then we add our blocks underneath for support. And then the banisters, two up, two up, two up, and round like so. And there we go, Ooh, missed one. There we are, there's our staircase there. And we do the same the other side. So it's the 19th down the side, so I just I won't bother measuring it, I just compare it to the other side, which is that one there. And remove the white block, and then build out two, and then the stairs going down to deck level. <clears throat> and then the blocks underneath. And then the banisters, two up, two up, two up, and all the way around. Like so, there we are, there's our staircases added. Now you're going to add a bit more detail, like uh, windows to the sides of the uh, deck house now. So I put windows there, and then a pair of doors 
for the uh, well the side basically. And what, you, what I normally do is add sort of slabs on top of the doors like that. Up to you if you want to do that, and then just add windows going down the side of the said wheelhouse, like so, and then a final door at the end like that. Plus slabs on the top. And there we go. That's the side wall, well, at least one side done of the uh, ship's wheelhouse. So the detail should look something like that. I should do the other side now. I'll just do that quickly. So we get our first window in place there. And then our doors. Like so. And then the last oh, piss windows. And then the last door there. And the slabs on the top. There we go. That's the uh, the ship's wheelhouse sort of done and dusted. Now what we're going to do now is go back to the front of the ship's wheelhouse. We're going to add a bit of detail to the roof now. So on the front, uh, we're going to go to the fourth block back on the wood. So one, two, three, four, which is that one there. And we're going to use brown concrete for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and get our brown concrete, wherever it is, that one. And we're going to build... A block there like that so it's the fourth block back and we're going to build uh seven wide so that's three that way and three that way so it's seven wide like that and then for the sides we want seven one two three four five six seven and then out five one two three four five like that same the other side seven back one two three four five six seven and then out five one two three four five like that and it should in theory look something like that and then go back to the front of that brown wall and go two blocks back or the second block back rather and then we build uh, in white we build three wide like that and then the sides are four one two three four one two three four and then one across the back and then build that to three high all the way around like so so you've got a box like that and then on the center which is roughly in the middle there which is the middle, build three up, three up, one, two, three, and then with our slabs, build out one and one for an antenna sort of thing. It kind of looks more like a, a cross, really, but <laughs> you can build it a bit higher if you want to. And then it still looks like a cross, but it's, a, it's an antenna sort of thing. And uh, that's that sort of detail done there. On the prototype, I've got it on the front of the box, but on this one, I've got it on the middle. So that's the... Uh, Pretty much all the detail done there. The last job for the wheelhouse is just to add the handrails, which is iron bars, of course. So I do that all the way around. Apologies for my voice. I've got a cold coming again, which is everything nice. So in this time of uh, the funny virus going around, everyone's panicking. I'm not yet. Just got a bloody cold. So uh, there we go. Right, so we're going to get the handrails down and around. All the way around the... Uh, top of the wheelhouse and then across the front and there we go there's the ship's wheelhouse done and dusted and if you want to remove the red blocks you can because they remember they're just markers we don't really need those at the moment um, there are also windows to go on the front of the curved walls but we'll sort that out later on I'm just going to sort out the forecastle next so Bear with me on that, just going to have a quick look and make sure the forecastle is as it should be. And uh, it don't look too bad. So what I'm going to do now is going to check my notes and then we shall move on, so bear with me. Okay, back again, just had to do a quick jump cut there. So what we're going to do now is go down to the forecastle deck, which is this, this deck basically. We're going to go to the front wall of the bottom superstructure, which is down here. And on the wood, we're going to count forward to the fourth block forward. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to build a wall which is 19 wide. So that's the centre block, which is that one. Actually, get rid of that and replace that with red. So we put a centre block and then we build it 19 wide, which is uh, 9 either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 like that. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 that way. And we're going to build back towards the superstructure 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. And as it's on the, uh, on the section of... Uh, velocity if you see what I mean you're going to want to build that uh, three high so two and then three high like that I can't remember if it's three across the front I think the front wall is three high so I do the same the other side quick so 
one, two, three, four, and then increase the front wall to three high. So let's do that all the way across first. So the front wall three high. Like so, and then the sides we increase them to four high because they're slightly lower uh, than the, the front wall. So there we go. There's one side like that. <clears throat> and then do the same the other side. And that's four high there like that. So that's the first well that's basically the extension of the deck basically. So I'm gonna add the deck inside of that now. And next door dog is barking, which is rather annoying. Apologies for my voice again. And there we go, there's our first little job done there. So what we want to do now is add stairs to each end. So I'm going to uh, remove two top blocks at each end, like so, and then replace with stairs going down, like so. And then the balusters, two up, two up like that. Two up, two up. Same the other side, so remove two white blocks, replace with stairs, stairs, and stairs. And the banisters, like so. And there we go, there's our little job done there. And you can start adding, well, we'll add the handrails first, so we'll just add them all the way around. Like so, did the uh, prototype, yeah, the prototype had stairway, uh, handrails, sorry. So just get that little job out the way there. So there we are, there's that job done there. Marvellous. So what we want to do now is to go to the centre block and we're going to count forward to... Uh, I'm trying to remember, we're just going to go to the seventh block forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to build a cargo hatch. I'm just going to adjust my notes here so I know what I'm doing. So the hatch is 11 wide, so that's five either side. One, two, three, four, five that way. One, two, three, four, five that way. And the sides are five as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then across the front. And then for the center of the hatch, you're going to add a row of three like so. And then build that all the way across the length of the hatch like so. And then each end just add slabs across the top like so. Like that. And then across the back. Or the other side rather. Like so. There we go. There's our hatch done like that. Marvellous. Beautiful. Brilliant. Alright, so what we're going to do, go back to the centre block again. We're going to move forward. So after the hatch, we want to add uh, the mech, which is basically a load of black blocks, basically. So, uh, get our mech. The mech's what I normally call a, a structure which um, connects all the uh, rigging and things. So we're just going to build that. So we're going to go to the fifth block forward. So one, two, three, four, five. And then build three black blocks forward like that and then leave a gap to the side add another three the other side add another three like that so it's three strokes like that and then across the top add a line of blocks as well and then overhang each side so it looks something like that in theory um, so like I say it's basically what attaches all the rigging and the crane pulleys and things like that but uh, there we go and then one block forward of that on the centre we're going to add the mast now we're going to use yellow for this so we're going to use yellow terracotta which is that one there. And one block forward to the mast there. I mean the mast is uh, five sections of 15. So that's two so far. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. And again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, and again, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's five rows of 15 like that. So that's our mast. And then five down from the top. 2, 3, 4, 5. Build out four. 1, 2, 3, 4. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then six down from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Build out seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven i think that's seven two three four five six seven like that so there we are there's our top of our mast done like that and then what we do we go down to the third row of 15 so one two three so the third row of 15 is here and then from there we're going to add our crow's nest so we're going to build 
uh, block in the middle and then two either side like so for the uh, crow's nest and then we're going to get our white stairs which are quartz stairs and we're going to build upside down stairs all the way around like so like that and across the back as well if you want to so there we are there's our crow's nest platform and then we add the wall around the edge like so and that's the uh, sort of bathtub shaped thing and then what we want to do there is get our end rods which are here somewhere end rods we're going to add our end we're going to add two end rods high in each corner like so for a roof and then using quartz slabs we add our roof so on the top of the quartz slabs add a roof on top of the end rod sorry add the roof and there you go there's your uh, crow's nest should look something like that <laughs> yeah it kind of looks more like uh, Ferris wheel car, if you know what I mean. So what we're going to do now: leave the uh, uh, the uh, crow's nest, get out to the bottom of the mast. And we're going to build our pulleys and derricks and cranes and things. We're going to go to the uh, sixth block up. So from the bottom of the mast, go one, two, three, four, five, six up, and add a block on the side like that, and another block there like that. And then we're going to build forward from these blocks. We're going to build forward uh, thirty. Five, yeah, 35 forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Then do the same on the other side, so 35 forward. So you have two lengths the same, like so. And if you're like me, you add, do a bit of design change, just add a black, a black block in the end of the uh, end of the uh, mast sections without doing too much damage there we go so there's those two like that then we go back to the front end or the, the, the back end of the uh, 35 like so and then from there we're going to want to build outwards or sort of diagonally um, 19 rows of two so we build back one row so that's one and then two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it's 19 rows of 2 out like that. Same the other side. <clears throat> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there we are. 19 rows of 2 like that. And it should look something like that. And then what we're going to do now is go back to the mast again. And uh, we go two up from there. So build or we'll count two up. So we add another block either side like so. And then we're going to want 12 rows of three back. So it's, so it's basically doing the same thing again but with rows of three. So we want 12 rows of three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. So 12 rows of 3 like that. Same the other side. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's 12 rows of 3 that side. So you've got these two, what do you call it, designs like that. And uh, it should look something like that. So that's the theory anyway. So we go back to the master now, and we're going to move forward from there, and I just adjust my notes. Uh, so one block forward of the mast, we're going to add another mech. So another row of three, three, and three, and then across the front with the design like so, and it should look something like that. And uh, bear with me, I'll just adjust my notes so I know what I'm doing next. And what we want to do now is to go back to the mech and count to the 14th block forward. So centre block of the mech, go 14th forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And add a centre block. And this is going to be another hatch, which is 
11 wide, so that's uh, 5 either side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. And then the sides, I'm just looking at the prototype, the sides are 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, like that. Same the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And across the front, like so. And for the, the back wall and the first few blocks of the side, just increase that to too high. Because of course we're on the, uh, well, the uh, height changes in the folks also. Just build it so it's the same height all the way around like that. And then for the centre, say the first centre, well the centre four, one, two, three, four, or the centre five rather, build like that, and then build that all the way forward. So it just makes the uh, hatch a bit thicker, like so. So build it all the way forward, five wide, across the front, across the centre of our hatch, and there we go. And then the rest of it, the sides, just to cover with slabs. So it's similar design to the one we did first, but just on a different scale, basically. There we go, one side done, and then the other side. There we go, that's that hatch done there. Marvellous. Right, so what we're going to do now is move on to the next project, which is another deck house. So, for the centre front block of the hatch, we're going to count to the fourth block forward. So, one, two, three, four. And uh, fifth block, sorry. So, five forward, like that. And we're going to build our deck house, which is 13 wide. So, that's centre block plus six other sides. So, one, two, three, four, five, six that way. One, two, three, four, five, six that way. And then the sides are two. Hang on, two forward, and then two again, and two again. And then inwards two. And then two. And then, well, a centre block basically. So do the same on the other side. So two forward, two forward, two forward. Two in, two in, like that. So you've got a sort of D shape uh, deck house like that. And then you're going to build that three blocks high, all the way around. So build it three high all the way around, like so. Like that, and then add the roof, which is basically all white blocks again. There we go, there's that deck house done there. Marvellous. So what we're going to do from there now is to build the car, uh, anchor chain. So we're going to go from the front of the deck house, we're going to leave uh, a six block gap. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, we add our anchor chains, which are five wide. So one block there, and then one, two that way, one, two that way. And then a block at each end like that, and a third one in the middle. So you've got a big E, basically. And then with the, for the uh, anchor chains, we're going to want to use... Well, I'm going to use um, stone brick stairs for this job. So for the centre chain... Hang on, it's ain't right, is it? No, hang on, something's not right here. And we want... We want to build this seven wide, I think. Yeah, seven wide, sorry. So three chains, but we build it seven wide. So we want to build an extra two blocks, or an extra block either side, so it's seven wide. And then add a block at each end, and then another block, two blocks in like that. So it's a sort of a, a distorted E, so apologies there. So so yeah, so what we're going to do now, for the, st the centre chain is going to be the longest, so I'll sort that one out in a minute. We'll do the side chains first. And the side chains are 14 long, so we're going to use stairs every other block, so... Or basically stairs different direction every block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's fourteen long. 
like it says, so I'm just building it to like that. So it kind of looks like chain links, but not very good if you know what I mean. So I do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there we are. There's our chains there like that. And then for the last chain, it is 29 long. So we do the same again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So it's 29 long. I just fill in the rest with the slabs going the other way. Stairs, sorry. And there we go, there's our three chains like that. And then at the end of each chain, so the outside chains just add another black C like that. And another one on the other side. So your two anchor chains like that. And then your last chain, you do the same like so. So there we are, there's that, uh, those three chains like that. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do now is go to the tip of the bow, at the front of the ship, and across from one side to the other, I'm not sure where exactly, so go from the centre, go one, two, third block back, I'm going to add stairs across like so, and then fill all in with white blocks like that, and there we go, that's all filled in like that. Or if you want to, go fourth block back, and just make it a bit more, well, a bit bulkier if you like. And there we go, there's that little detail done there. So it gives you access to the forecastle or the tip of the bow, rather. And that's that job done there. Um, so what we want now, we want uh, bollards. And there's going to be four bollards, or four sets, rather. And the bollards I use are made out of anvils. So we've got our anvils. And we're going to add four pairs of these. So we will add a pair, uh, say a pair about here, I think. So I'm just going to put these at random. So you just put four pairs down the side, so that's one pair, and then um, another pair there, and then pair number three there, and pair number four, uh, a bit further back, say about there, like that. So it's four pairs down the side, like so. I do the same the other side. So let's put our four pairs in, like that, pair there. And then another pair down here, another pair a bit further back, just there, and then the last pair just down here, like so, like that. And then uh, we can start adding the handrails. Now, when I'm building my handrail sections, if you're familiar with what I build, I use hand uh, iron bars. But when I'm building the handrails, if I go from the if I go from the tip of the bow first. You know, I always got to remove wood blocks, replace them with white blocks. So we start at the tip, or just off the tip here, and we'll add handrails. So if I add the handrails like so, if you're familiar with my build, you know what I'm doing here. But uh, the handrails are on top of wood blocks. So what I normally do is replace the wood blocks with white blocks, and then the handrails sit on top of uh, the edge of the ship. So, so you know what I mean. So it looks like they're all on uh, the right place. So I replace the wood in the corners with wood blocks like so and uh, don't do too much damage in the process so I'm just going to go all along the side and replace the white uh, the red uh, the, the wood with the white blocks all the way along and then I can replace that with the uh, handrails along the top so I'm just quickly do that now all the way down the side like so and the last one just there. So there we are. there's that line all sorted. And then what I can do now is add the handrails. Going all the way along the side. And where the height changes you can sort of double them up if you want like that. Let's get the handrails all the way down. To the front end. Like so what I do, I do one side as well and then I just copy it to the other side otherwise. Just be bored to dear bored to tears watching me do this crap, so there 
there we go, there's our handrails done, or nearly actually, just got to replace the ones that I've destroyed a minute ago. And there we go, there's our handrails down the side. And in theory it should look something like that, so what I'm going to do now, I'll quickly copy that to the other side. Well, actually, I'll do that in a minute first. What I'm going to do now is add a few larger bollards. Now, I don't know where these exactly are, but there's four of these on either side. So I think what we'll do, we'll go to the side of the anchors, or by the anchor studs there. We'll add four white blocks like so. And then we'll get our yellow terracotta. And we'll put yellow blocks on the top. I think that's the right, right way around. I'm going to look at the prototype. Yeah, that's funny. Just see them on the folk so it's the Well, I can't really sell from here, but uh, got a, four white blocks and four yellow blocks on top. Then go a bit further back along the side. Do the same again. So you get so the first one's by the anchor chain, the next one's by between the cargo hatch and the deck house. Go back a bit further and add another set. Like so, I think these are sort of cap stairs. And then a bit further back, do the same again. Like so, there there's our four design thingy what sits like that. And now what I do, I shall copy all that to the other side. So I shall copy from down here. I see copy from there, and I'll copy it to the other side. And then the handrails and those four bollard things will be all in place. So bear with me while I just sort this out. So copy to that point there, and we'll do copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go, that's that job done there. So that is all that sorted. That's the folks all pretty much done. And they don't look too bad. Not as detailed as most ships though. I mean, it is quite bare. But uh, if you want to add more details, then by, uh, by all means do so. I mean, it's, it's, like it's your build after all. Uh, if you're going to be building this as part of a downloadable project or a video or a post on social media or things like that, then don't forget to leave credit for the designer, i.e. me. That's all I ask. Not asking for any special treatment, just want to be recognised for the uh, designs that I do, and uh, that's appreciated. So uh, there we go. But anyway, that's the folks all done. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I work out what to do next, and then we can move on. So uh, back in a moment. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do now is move on to uh, windows. Basically, it's, like, it's going to be the last job for today. It's going to do some front windows to the uh, front superstructure. I'm also going to do the side windows or portholes along the side of the white superstructure, so that's going to be a fun job. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the bottom of the curve, or the bottom curved wall, so the curved wall down here at the bottom, on the front of the superstructure. And we're going to need to use glass, and sometimes we need to use slabs as well, so we've got our slabs as well. So on the front wall here, we're going to need... Uh, Two on the or four or two windows on the front, so center block there. Go two out to the side, add a window, and then a window the other side. Like so, so you've got two windows on the front like that, which is one block above the wooden platform. So the platform there, and it's one block above like that, and then add the slabs across like so. And see, so yeah, that's the first two windows there. The rest of the windows go around like so. So the next section along, uh, we want two windows. So I'll add. Uh, window there and in a two block gap add another window there like so and add the slabs on top of that so these windows are in the, in the same position above the platform the next windows will be in the same position going along uh, but there's no platform underneath so they're sort of suspended animation so the next windows so you've got the two on the front and then you've got two to the side like so and you do the same on the other side with two there I'll just focus on one side for the minute then what we want to do now is go around to the side, we want seven single windows, so on the next seven rows we want single windows, so that's one and then uh, I've done that wrong already <laughs> apologies, I've done it too low alright, so that's one window like so, and then we want two in there and then we want three here and then number four here and then number five there like so even though this window is blanked out you can still put a window there so that's that's hang on that's one two three four and then five like so and then six you can go on the side like so Like that and then the seventh one a bit further round 
like so. And there we go. So there's our seven windows on the side, like or going around the side like that. So it's seven single windows. And you do the same on the other side as well. So you've got the, the twos and then the seven singles going around. But I'll just focus on one side for the minute. And I'll just copy it across in a minute. So what we do now, go up to the next section. So one deck up. Back to the front wall. And then we want to add three windows on the front here. So these windows are one and a half blocks high. So basically one block of glass and a slab on the top. So you've got the centre one there like that. And then each to the side. Put a window there and a window there like that. So that's the front windows like that. And then out to the side we want five single windows. So on the next row we put one window and then number two goes there, number three goes there, number four, number five, like so. So it's five single windows like that. So do this, just add the slabs on top like so. So there we are. There's our five single windows like that with the well, five and well, one and a half high windows like that and you do the same on the other side as well and then we go to the next deck up and for the top one we add four windows across the front so uh, window, 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 window and these are only single windows like that so there's four windows there and then four singles around the side so we put one, two, two, three and four so four around that side like that and uh, from the side it should look something like that. So what I'll, do, what I'll do now, quickly copy that all to the other side, uh, just to save a bit of time and a hassle. So copy from down there up to here. Yeah, we do our usual copy, flip, paste, and that worked briefly but not completely. So I just got to add these four windows there. So one, two, three, and four. Like so there we are, there's all the windows on the other side. So it should sort of look something like that. Like I said, it's only in theory because uh, things don't always add up. But anyway, there's the windows done. And uh, what we can do now, we're going to go to the back of the ship now. And uh, while we're flying to the back end, what I can do, I'll show you. I've added all the doors and windows now and vents to the uh, superstructure deck houses along the, top of the, along the top of the ship. So we built these in the previous video. And uh, I've added all the vents and doors and windows and things to these deck houses. So they should, in theory, look something like that. These ones are very specific. So you've got this, this deck house here. They've got three or six windows, three blocks high. But uh, that's just me copying deck plans. Uh, very vague deck plans. So if you want to copy that, you can. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go to not quite the far, the far distance of the ship. But we're going to go to these long windows under here. So you've got the overhang above. And then you've got these windows underneath. So you're going to go to the front end of all these windows. And from the bottom window of the two. So you've got two windows. Oh, the windows are two blocks high. Go from the bottom window. And then count to the, say the fourth block forward. And put our first window which is a porthole. And we're going to build six of these every fourth block. So that's one, two, three, four. So I'll build one every fourth block in a group of six. So that's one, two, three, four five and six so there's our first six like that and then we go to the last two and then count down one two three four five down and do the same again so two or one sorry and then two three three four five and six so there's six down there and the first two will over will be underneath the last two of the one above of the row above. So you're gonna carry on doing that. So put six down, six up top, six below. Then you're basically zigzagging along. So six up, six down, six up, six down, all all the way until you get basically to the forecastle. So I do the next row along. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Like so, and then the next row along, we'll do the same again. So, one, two, th three, I'll oh, piss three, uh, four, five, and six, like that. And same again up above. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you sort of get an idea on where this is going. You can see the windows. They're in staggered groups, basically. So you've got six, 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 six. So you just carry that all the way along 
forward until basically the bottom row is on the forecastle. But you don't build the windows all the way up the forecastle, of course the forecastle was sloping upwards, so you may want to leave the windows out from there. But uh, it's up to you what you want to do. And for the bottom row, you just want to extend that back as well, up to the open promenade at the back end there. So I shall do that now. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, that's at six like that. I think there's a. I think it's eleven block gap between each row. So I'm just going to make sure. So is it eleven blocks? Yeah. So it's eleven block gap, and then you add another row. So because we haven't got the top row to go with, I'm just going to have to do this freehand. So that's uh, eight, nine, ten. So on the twelfth block, one, two, three, four, five and six and then we just add another eleven blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two and there we go two windows there so anyway, there's the, the the staggered windows going up to the promenade at the back and uh, it should look something like that so like I said just carry on building that same design six by six by six by six all the way along to the front and everything should uh, work out fine so what I'll do I'll do a quick jump cut while I sort that out and then uh, we can call it a day then, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So I've added the portholes all the way up to basically the beginning of the forecastle. So there's the last set there, just before the uh, uh, the forecastle curves upwards. And uh, it doesn't look too bad. So we've got the windows all the way along the side now. Just fly down to the back end and uh, give you an idea of what we're looking at. So it's all basically just sixes, sixes and sixes. It's not accurate to the real ship. It never has been, but that's a philosophy I usually use and uh, off well, design I normally use and it tends to work so yeah, it don't look too bad. I've also done the other side as well uh, proof is in the pudding, I shall go and have a look and prove that so there we are, there's our windows going along the side as well so we've still got the shadow issues, I can't do much about that but uh, the windows are all in place marvellous, beautiful, splendid, superb and uh, that's all I'm going to do for today, so I'm going to call it a day and I think I did say in the previous video we're going to do the funnel today, but I thought Sonic would do something else. So I think for part 7, which I think is the next part, we shall do the funnels. Or I shall do the funnels. What you want to do is up to you, but I shall do the funnels. And any other detail in that department as well. So we could, we're getting near the end of this as well. So it'll probably be the funnels. I'm just trying to think what we need next, really. So it's funnels, lifeboats, vent detailing, uh, rudder, propellers second mast uh, docking bridge, yeah, still a bit to do but uh, we'll probably get it all knocked out in the next couple of videos and uh, yeah, we should go out and get it all done so we shall see how things pan out but uh, we'll leave it at that so uh, yeah, so this is Rich signing off, logging off disappearing and I shall return in part 7 I think so uh, yeah, bye for now